What's going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And over the last few days, there's been a lot of rumors going around about a possible story DLC. And of course, this is a new rumor. And while I would take this with a grain of salt, it is still kind of interesting. So I figured I would bring it to you and let you kind of figure it out for yourself or tell me what you think uh, in the comments down below. But I will list this article uh, down in the description below if you'd like to read over it for yourself. Well, kind of what's going on is Rockstar has applied for a, a, a rating system on a new project in Australia. And it says that Rockstar is listed as the publisher and creator of this project, but it really does not give any details of what this project is. And now this was banned in Australia. They decided not to go uh, with this project or not to go with the rating. They don't, they don't want it uh, available in Australia. And now well, that's not an odd thing. A lot of countries all over the world will deny games and ban games for mature ratings and then later on pick them up uh, at, a, you know, at a later time. But I do kind of find it interesting that it was denied. But at the same time, I'm not sure what it could be. I mean, it, it could be something like L.A. Noir. It could be something for, to do with Bully 2 because there's been a lot of leaks about it. It could be something to do with a new GTA game. There's been a lot of speculation that a new GTA game is going to be announced soon because of at Rockstar Studio, I think it's uh, Rockstar North, they took the banner down for Red Dead Redemption and a lot of people are thinking they're going to put a GTA 6 banner up there. So this could really do with anything, but I think the reason a lot of people are, are speculating this is going to be Red Dead uh, DLC kind of idea is because why would you announce or go ahead and apply for ratings for other games that you're making if they have not even been announced yet. And nobody even knows when these other games are going to be coming out, if they even are. So a lot of people are thinking it could be story DLC. Now, I'm not sure what type of story DLC it'll be. Some people think it'll be something uh, involving Sadie or some of the other kind of role characters within the story. Um, the alien thing has kind of died off, even though it was really, really big. And I, I took a long time myself to make a video about the alien DLC rumors because I wasn't really sure about them myself, but they kept on and kept on and kept on uh, kind of going with it. And then it finally just kind of fell apart. And it's not really been any news about that or any other type of story DLC since then. So I think a lot of people are jumping on the bandwagon right now. This is story DLC. This is what it's going to be because they're all kind of getting disappointed with what's going on in the game, especially with the summer update not even being released yet and still really no information about it so i think people are wanting to find something to kind of cling on to with red dead redemption 2 right now to give us some hope about something because there's a lot of people out there that don't care for online that want story dlc and i can understand that and while i've talked about this in many videos in the past i do think it would be fun to have some dlc with some of these other characters that kind of weren't the main characters within the game but at the same time i think a lot of people would like to see some extra you know, kind of stuff to deal with Arthur because a lot of people loved Arthur as a character. So to me, if they released something that was kind of pre-story that had to deal with Arthur, I think that would be an absolute blast to play. I also think the role style characters would be fun as well, like Sadie and some of the other characters that were in the game. Also, the things I'd mentioned before was kind of a, a Native American DLC, something to do with the Indians that were involved in the story. I think that would be a lot of fun as well. But like I said, who knows? This is all just speculation, all just rumor. But we do know they did apply for a rating in Australia. And like I said, who knows exactly what it's for. But leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. Do you think it's going to lead to something next year? Because I'm assuming if there is a story DLC, it will be 2020 before it comes out. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.